me and the notification gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9 20 to 10 o'clock for morning coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN Jack Frost, what's up, party people? Hey, before the video we even continue, hit that like button, subscribe, and join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. All right, so for everybody that doesn't uh, remember who Roy Moore, Roy Moore is, I'll give you a quick update. Or should I say, Ramonda. Roy Moore was running for Senate in, I believe, uh, Louisiana, right? So the guy that he was running against, I forget his name, is the guy that Donald Trump was backing. When Roy Moore won, you know, in the, in the you know, primaries or whatever, uh, when it was the two Republicans going to see who was going to be the Republican candidate for Senate, when Roy Moore won that one after Donald Trump had bashed him, talked crazy about him, y'all know how Trump do. It is what it is. So Roy Moore won that one. And then, after that, Roy Moore had to go up against the Democrat. But since now Donald Trump had to go and, you know, try to help Roy Moore win after he just spoke crazy about Roy Moore. So, Donald Trump goes to try to help Roy Moore win. Roy Moore ends up losing. One of the main reasons why Roy Moore ended up losing was because black women, black women came out and voted in unison they came out in droves a lot of people don't understand this if we voted more and uh more frequently and together we can get things to happen um the the freaking uh right wing guys uh, i don't even want to say right wing because that's not fair but a lot of the individuals who are like gun enthusiasts they vote together a lot of people that you know we don't want we don't want immigration they're gonna vote together even if they like none of the other policies that the person is pushing as long as they're not gonna let us let those immigrants in as long as they're not gonna take our guns away they go vote in unison so if us black people started just voting in unison we can get things done anyway so after Roy Moore loses, also Roy Moore was in trouble because he was uh, trying to, or he did, sleep with an underage girl. Like that was a that was a thing that they tried to sweep under the rug, but a big deal was made about it. So Roy Moore then lost um, the Senate seat to the Democrat. Donald Trump went in on him. You know that's what happened. So now Roy Moore is saying that he's you no know, broke as his monies is going away so you know he has he's having money issues currently now i say all that to say this this is the reason why the nra can buy politicians this is the reason people like this they don't ever think they're not going to be in a political light no so they take they they they, they sell their services and then they you know it's like a drug dealer. When you're making that fast money, you're also spending it like what it is. Fast money. Anyway, let's get to the story. And I hate when that happens. Anyway. In battle, former state candidate Roy Moore is making a public plea for help to pay legal fees. He faces defending himself from a lawsuit brought on by Alabama woman, woman who says he touched her sexually when she was 14 years old. Yep, that's the case. In a statement posted on the Senate campaign's Facebook page, the Republican former judge, former judge, made the, made the ask in a grievance-filled note, saying that he faced a vicious attack from lawyers in Washington D.C. and San Francisco, who had hired one of the biggest firms in Birmingham, Alabama, to bring another legal action against me. Crying. Same guy, right? Same guy. You just imagine what this guy's policies is. He's in Alabama. Pardon me, I thought it was Louisiana or something. He's in Alabama, right? And he's a Republican, and right? And he's Senate. You can just imagine what his policies are. My resources have been depleted, and I have struggled to make ends meet. More wrote. 
saying that his legal fees could exceed a hundred thousand dollars. I have had to establish a legal defense fund. Anything you give me will be appreciated. So now, see, I always try to explain this. This is the this is the biggest difference, you know, besides policy, obviously, between Democrats and Republicans. Democrats, they set up, um, you know, some kind of fund. Like, yeah, we're going to, you know, save the rainforest or something. We're going to send money to the Africans or we're going to, we're going to, you know, inner city stuff. We're going to do some stuff in the inner city. And they set up funds. So now they're getting monies given to whatever the fund is. And what the Democrats do is the Democrats raid the funds and take all the monies. So now, even when Democrats lose their position as, you know, whatever the heck they were, you no, know, now they're not a senator no more anymore. Now they're not a, uh, you know, whatever the heck they, they were in when they was in office for whatever the case is, they still have these funds that they have all over the place that they can still take monies from to live. You understand? Now, Republicans, they don't open up all these funds because the Republicans is about we trying to, to get the government out of your business. We don't want the government in your business. All of this crap, right? So what the Republicans do is they sell their services to people like the NRA, to tobacco companies, to big pharmaceutical. That's what they do. And their monies continuously come in as long as they have influence. Whether they have a position in, in um politics or not if they still have influence you know maybe have some some uh pictures of somebody doing something they're not supposed to do so they could always roll up on them and be like hey i need you to vote this way you know as long as they have influence and friends they can still get monies from you know whatever you know uh, peoples you know what i'm saying whatever companies like 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 i said big pharma or or the nra or something like that so this particular individual he obviously doesn't have, nobody wants to be a part of him. Nobody wants to, nobody really wants to deal with him. He's in trouble for child, possible child molestation. Nobody doesn't want to deal with him. So now, being that he's a Republican and not a Democrat, he doesn't have these little funds everywhere that he could take money from. So what he has to do is he has to beg for money now because he doesn't have any income coming in. You understand what I'm saying? Anyway. Lay Kaufman filed a defamation lawsuit against Moore in January, part of an emerging legal strategy of litiga litigating sexual misconduct claims through lawsuits when the statute of limitations has expired of crimi criminal charges. Okay, this is how this works. For those who don't know. Statute of limitation isn't for civil. Like, if somebody did something to you 30 years ago, you can still sue them and try to get money. Statute of limitations go for criminal charges. You understand what I'm saying? So the statute of limitations have run their course. He can't be charged criminally for whatever he did or didn't do. But he can still be sued. And the worst part about being sued, everybody thinks the losing is the worst part. The worst part about being sued is you have to pay for a lawyer. Imagine somebody is suing you for a million dollars, right? And you're some, you know, whatever the hell he is. I guess he's not sending it any further. So imagine somebody suing you for a million dollars, $1.5 million. But you're in court trying to fight these charges for like eight, nine, ten years. You're going to run up freaking uh, bills higher than the money that you're even getting sued for. So, you no, know, that happens. That literally happens. So, um, I'm going to leave the link in the description. You can check the story out about yourself. But this is what's going on with Roy Moore. He might deserve it. I don't know. Maybe he did do whatever he did to the little kid. Maybe he didn't. But, at the end of the day, it's not that we have to assume that the girl was telling the truth. But, when you look at the, the characteristics of an individual, sometimes you can figure there's a good possibility. And there's a good chance he thinks he's going to lose this particular case. That's the only reason why I can see he's begging for money. Anyway, leave the comments down below. I want to know what you guys think about this. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. Yo, look, I love y'all. Take care of each other. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out.
And this shit sucks because <coughs> how the fuck am I gonna get this shit off of here now? Cause I hit the wrong damn button. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.